Eagle Heart. Get well soon. I got good news, Emily. Your daddy's I'll ride a ransom into my account. So long, the long will lead you. Xavier, when you get up, I want to hear, I want to hear you go splat, little lady. Sorry about that, Vegas. You can't board a plane with more than two bags, scumbags, that is. Marshall Chris Matano. Who's a new partner? Her name's Tracy Domino. Whoa. Maybe this is one, this one was survey, Vegas. Vegas. You can't board a flight with one more than two bags. Hold on. Coming up with a witticism. Diamond Jean. Oh, yeah, I swear I will adopt your look to tribute to your life. Thanks. There goes your new partner. Not again, Vagoras. Wait, wait a second. How? How many bags can you take on a plane again? Wishbone, you know something? The first bullet I'll put in you is for the Diamond Jean. The second one is for the Wishbone. The third one for that guy, other guy. What, his face? The guy that wore the trench coat. You're outnumbered, Leapfrog. Leapfrog, all right. You got it. Tracy. Trace, that starts. I'll lead. No more, Chris. You killed him. Killer? Ah, why don't you kill him? Chris, is, I hoped you'd never have to use that level again. Yeah, well, Chief. After today, I won't have to. I'm done with having a partner. That's why we're giving you two partners. I'd like you to meet Bert Mobley and Liz Susie Wagner. Trace was a good marshal, great marshal. I'm sorry about your partner, man. That blows. I once had a sandwich. I, I love that I loved. I dropped to the ground. Oh, okay, good. Uh, um, hey, chief, look. I really don't need Chaz Bono and Rennie Richards. Oh, they're gumming on up my works now. Okay, quite the opposite, Mister. No, two partners is just what you need. That way, when Vagrus kills one of them. You only be half as sad. Vagris, Vagris is dead. Mmm, that's the other thing I want to talk to you about. He's not dead, dead. He's critical condition. As city hospital. I see, okay, fine. Well, you know something, Chief? Why don't you get somebody to move those pictures over to the unarranged side, okay? There's something I need to finish. Chris, not in hospital. Ask him, you two. Excuse me? Oh, have you seen this autopsy report? It says you were strangled, it says you were strangled to death. But of course, these, those reports can often be wrong. Time of death now. Great news, bullets, it's moving day. You'll be living in vigorous from now on. Call me at Thanksgiving. Chris, what are you doing? Well, I'm trying to extract some revenge to commit second degree murder. That's for the courts to decide. Oh, hi. Hi, Chris. Hey, thanks for the lot of you, a lot, a lot for coming to see me. You know, the doctor said I got hurt in my brain, but a nurse said I can take some special medicine, to make it better. Call ice cream, Chris. You you can't shoot him. He's simple. I just he must have hurt his brain in that fight. There's something I want to show you. I did it. That's you. I'm Brett. Hey, hey. Hi, Brett. This guy is great. Oh, yeah, I can't do it. This isn't the grievous bastard who killed my partners. I know he's in there. And when you're on, when you're on the feet again, I'll kill you real good, okay? Good, good. Good night, Vagarus. Hey, Chris, will you tell me a bedtime story? Well, all right. Let's see. Once upon a time, there's a little bunny rabbit called Chris. Like you. Yes, Vagarus. It very much like me. And that, and then this little rabbit wanted more than anything else was to kill the evil turtle and murder all his buddies. But the evil turtle shell was too soft and Chris knew it wouldn't be right to kill him. So Bunny Chris worked very hard to make the evil turtle shell gnaw again so he could stick a gun in his mouth and blow his brains all over the forest floor. So did he make him gnaw again? We'll see, little turtle. We shall see. How's he coming along? But well, he's still too stupid. You're not becoming attached to him. You're not going to come in touch to him. Are you? Are you kidding, Chief? That motor's filth in there? Be careful, Chris. 
Don't worry about me, Chief. Okay? He's ending three two of Rahab. I'm going to turn that turtle in there to a killing machine. And that dying machine into a killing machine to a dying machine. Remember this guy? Victor Logan. Ran the second biggest gang in town. He's your mortal enemy. Uh-huh. You're going to wipe him off the, and his gang out, whole gang out. Going to remind you how sweet evil tastes. Chris tricking a mentally impaired man to commit suicide for you against regulations. For you against regulations. We learned that in my company day one. Oh, you want to, went to Marshall Company. Well, it was so impressed, right, Chris? Yeah, you didn't go to the Marshall Company. No, yeah, I did. School was cool. A Vegas out of picture. Vegas out of picture. We control the entire west side. The city's ours. Hi, Vegas. That's right. It's Vegas, your old rival. He's in the low cooling mood. Right, yeah. Your time is done, Vegas. This is Logan Town now. I see Tickle Bell. No. He means I see you in hell. Kill him, huh? Go on, move. Wow. That was funny. Fun. Hey, Logan, get up. Come on. Let's do it again. He's dead, Vegas. Oh, okay. Well, let's do it again. When well, he's not dead anymore. You know, this is just, this is just never work, gonna work. I don't, I, I can't kill you. You're help, help, harmless. Thank you again, Chris. I've been waiting to, to put Logan down for a long time. You just helped me do it. Wow. Vegas, you're crude. You're evil again. No quite. Brain damage, just act. I've been thinking it, so no. You were fell right into my trap. Okay. I'm going to put six bullets in you. Three for my partners who waited. One for the time I waited. And then two for Brett and Susie in case you waste them before I waste you. See you in, kid. Hey. Do you look like he was happy? Vegas, you sound nice again. I was just, fi- sound, just faking, faking. Why? He was so nice to him. Me. He was like the best friend in the world. I wanted to give him a present. I pretended like I was normal. He could, he, then he could kill me. I said, so "Sweet, hey, why, don't ever let him. Don't ever tell him the truth. Please don't." Well, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Then we go. Good, good job, Chris. You brought justice to the brave men by killing the evil villain with his mental facilities. Well, thanks, kid. And now that that what you know what? I guess you guys can slay that after all. You guys can stay after all. Okay, all right. Get out of here, guys. Off you go. Yeah, all right, pal. Come down and lay with the matey and the bed of spices and lilies. Come down.